Welcome to episode 14 of Game Dev. In this episode, we're just going to be finalizing the sprites class and everything uh, therein, and then we're going to be rendering it and having it all said and done. We'll be able to draw a sprite at the end of this episode, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. So let's get right into it. We should be able to take all this out now. So we have all that information out, and get rid of the quad, and we'll just comment that out for now. And we can just delete these. Okay, so let's go into the start here. Let's actually create, we have the texture. Let's go make this sprite out here. Sprite, uh, test. This will be one set of sprites called test. We'll do test is equal to new sprites. And for this sprite sheet, we're gonna use test shader and test text.texture again. And then we'll go test.add sprite. So in this sprite sheet, we're going to add one, and we'll say new sprite, uh, 0, 0.0, 0, 0, negative 1.0 for the Z. Next, oh, I don't remember what we had. What do we do? X, Y, Z, X offset, Y offset, width, height, U, V, okay. Okay, so X, Y, Z, so we're going to back at one in. Uh, since our sprite is 16 pixels wide, we're going to set it negative 8 and negative 8, just so it's centered, instead of being offset to the right. Our pix we are 16 pixels by 16 pixels for the sprite, and we don't want any offsets here for our U and V texture coordinates. And we're just going to set the RGB to 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, just so it's max color. Should be that, and then in the render function, we'll do test dot render new matrix or dot identity. Okay, and that's everything except for the shader because we did add that X offset there or the uh, X and Y offsets So we're actually gonna need to add those into the shader here. So let's just do it here attribute back to uh, To a offset Okay, and Everything there we have the texture here I'm gonna create a variable for a lot of, for these three, I think. Do let's call it uh, four PB just for positional data. This will just be like a general one that we can use because then we can multiply it later on. So here we're going to multiply the PB and we're going to add the offset. So we'll do plus vec four since it's a vec two a offset thirty two point zero. 0.5 and 1.0. Just encapsulate that just so we can get it right in the metal. Does that should be everything now? I believe. Let's run it. Let's see what happens. Okay. I believe we have an error somewhere. Right dart 8. What is the matter here? Button range 0 to 36 includes 40. Uh, oh, the floats per vertex. Did I change that? Yes, I did. And that should do it. Okay, so now it's debug time because we see that we have this. And this is kind of what we drew, but not really. Okay, so here's one issue here. Uh, this was actually, we changed it to a VEC 3. We need to change this to a VEC 4 and add the alpha. I did forget about that. And let's change it here, VEC 3. That might actually be what the issue is. Let's go back and rerun it. Nope. It's not the issue. Okay, so the issue is that I actually had a width set there instead of U value. Small issue there. I hit play. There we go. Change the sprite up a bit as well while debugging just so I could see the corners and see if it was actually rendering proper sides. And this is exactly what it should be. So we're good about that. Everything is working as we have decided. And now I'm just going to do this for a little fun right now to make sure that we have our sizes set up right. I'm going to go double rotation. Let's see, it was 0, 0.0. And. I'm just going to create a rotation right here, and we'll say rotation is equal to sine uh, time, time 0 0.001. 
And now we'll just make it kind of float back and forth on the left and right, and a little bit on the top and bottom sizes. Or, uh, matrix. Uh, I didn't. Damn it. Matrix for dot identity. And we're going to rotate on the Y. We'll do the rotation. And we'll translate it as well. And we'll do none on the X. We'll do just a little bit on the Y. Times, I don't know, some really small number. Zero, 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 six, five, four, five. Just because. Multiply it by 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, and 0, 0.0. Sure. Just a little bit of randomness there, just so it'll f should float back. And there it is. Okay, and you'll see as it's moving that the... Go. Maybe come back. There it is. You see as it's moving, it's actually losing the uh, sides, so let's just increase this 0.5. And anywhere that there is a, an, a, like a, an extra height variable, or an extra width variable, we're not going to make it an addition, we'll make it a subtraction. Just so it kind of centers it out. A little bit, so we shouldn't see that pink anymore. There we go. Now we have that perfect sprite, and it should just bob back and forth. Uh, I set it down to one, just set it back to ten, so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. Perfect. So there's our nice little sprite moving around on the screen. Uh, we don't really have to make it move like this. This is just rotating the camera right now, so the sprite is actually staying still, but the camera is moving back and forth. Um, Thank you guys for watching this episode. Uh, next episode we'll be taking a look at tile mapping and actually loading in a level into this world. And uh, we'll move out from there and on to entities and stuff. Be sure to check the link in the description for a link to my Patreon, uh, where you can get full access to the source code and early access to videos as well. Patreon's just a way that you guys can support me, so I'm actually less dependent on working a full-time job and can actually create more content. So I'll see you guys next episode. Hope you have a good day, and take it easy.